Hi, I'm Peter Hosey, and I am fully vaccinated, have been since May, and I got the Pfizer vaccine. That is 90 to 95% effective against severe disease. But that doesn't mean I can't get infected. For one thing, 95% is not 100%. For another thing, even if I don't get hospitalized, even if I never develop symptoms, I'm, I can still be infected and I could be asymptomatic. And we know that COVID spreads asymptomatically. More than half of transmissions of the COVID virus as of November 2020, which is before the vaccines, um, more than half of transmissions were asymptomatic or pre-symptomatic. The vaccine makes it less likely that I'm gonna develop symptoms. It would be dangerous to assume that the vaccine is going to make it so I can't transmit. So I, I still have to assume that I have the virus and that I am transmitting it, even if I'm not symptomatic or even if I'm not symptomatic yet. I am currently not displaying any COVID symptoms. It takes about five days for the COVID virus to turn into symptomatic COVID. I'm recording this on a Saturday. So, you know, maybe my Wednesday is gonna suck, right? So, since COVID can be asymptomatic or pre-symptomatic, since even fully vaccinated people can be infected, even if they don't necessarily know it, and they could be transmitting. So it is important to regularly get tested. So I'm going to try something I've never tried before. And I'm gonna bring you all along with me on this journey. So this is an Abbott Binax Now um, Rapid COVID Test Kit. Um, you can buy them at CVS. It's about 25 bucks for this two pack. And I have never used one before. And I'm about to use one for the first time. And given what I said about um, COVID can be asymptomatic, I may be about to find out some bad news, but we're about to embark on this journey together. For use under an emergency use authorization only. And this is an antigen test, this is not PCR, so there is a higher chance of false negatives with this test. So if I do come up negative, it doesn't necessarily mean, oops, everything's falling out here. It doesn't necessarily mean that I am negative, but if I come up positive, my understanding is that's pretty damn sure. But for the purposes of testing myself, say twice a week, this should suffice. I have no idea where in here everything is supposed to be. Everything kind of got jumbled up when I flipped the box over. But this is more or less how everything comes. So we've got our fact sheet for individuals about COVID-19, dated March 31st. Seems like there's a lot of good info in there. And there's the same thing in Spanish on the back. Comes with both English and Spanish instructions. And it's not necessarily obvious from the big text, but the tiny text, you can tell. So I'm gonna read the English instructions. Does not differentiate between SARS coronavirus and SARS coronavirus 2. So this could tell me I have SARS instead of COVID, but it's not gonna differentiate. It is a nasal swab. It's not the nasopharyngeal swab, which are the ones that they stick all the way back at the back of your skull and tickle your brain. Uh, positive result, negative result, invalid result. Kit components overview. Do not touch before reading instructions. Flip over sheet. So these are the test cards. These are the swabs. A sterile foam tipped applicator. That's a swab. And these are the dropper balls. Instructions start here. The recommended gloves not provided also be used during testing. Wash or sanitize your hands. 
panel card only by edges. Card must stay flat on table for entire test. Make sure the blue control line is present in the result window. If that line is not present, do not use this card. Open the card flat on the table. You may bend the spine in the opposite direction to help the card lay flat. Do not touch the test strip. Move dropper bottle cap. Hold dropper bottle straight over top hole, not, at, not in an angle. So it's straight over the hole. Okay, perpendicular. Put six drops into top hole. Do not touch card with tip. False negative may occur if less than six drops of fluid are put in the hole. One, two, three, four, five, six. Collect nasal sample. Open the swab package at stick end. Take swab out. Do not grab it from the, the part that goes in your nose. Swab both nostrils carefully as shown. Insert the entire soft tip into a nostril, usually a half to a three quarters of an inch. You do not need to go deeper. Using medium pressure, rub the swab against all of the inside walls of your nostril. Make at least five big circles. Do not just spin the swab. Each nostril must be swabbed for about 15 seconds. Using the same swab, repeat step five in your other nostrils. Stop, check, did you swab both nostrils? False negative may occur if the nasal swab is not properly collected. And then perform the test. Keep the card flat on the table. Insert the swab tip into the bottom hole. So we put the six drops in the top hole, put the swab into the bottom hole. Firmly push the swab tip from the bottom hole until it is visible in the top hole. So we're pushing it underneath that bridge. Do not remove the swab from the card. Turn the swab to the right three times. So clockwise three times to mix the swab with the drops. Do not skip this step. Anytime they say that, you know there were people in testing who were skipping that step. Leave the swab in the card for the remainder of the test. Do not remove swab. False negative result can occur if swab is not turned. Uh, peel adhesive liner off. Be careful not to touch other parts of card. Close left side of card over swab. Press firmly on the two lines on the right edge of the card to seal. So you're closing the book. So like, initially we open this up. Do not touch the strip here. And now we're closing it flat and sealing it on that adhesive. Keep card face up on table. Do not move or touch the card during this time. Wait 15 minutes. Read the result at 15 minutes. Do not read the result before 15 minutes or after 30 minutes. Results should not be read after 30 minutes. And then interpret the results. If you see two pink slash purple lines, one on the top half and one on the bottom half, this means COVID-19 was detected. Or at least the virus that causes COVID-19. Below are photos of actual positive results. Uh, on the right, note how faint the bottom line can get. Yeah, that's pretty faint. Like it's lighter than the fold in, or the shadow from the line on the back. All right, check for negative result. Uh, look for a single purple line. If you see only one pink or purple line on the top half, which is the control, this means COVID was not detected. Check for an invalid result. If you see only the blue control line, that it, so it was blue earlier and it's meant to change color to pink. So if it stayed blue, that's an invalid result. If there's no line at all, invalid result, and you should have stopped earlier probably. Pink, purple, sample line only, again, no control. Blue control line, so that didn't change, and pink, purple, sample line. These are all invalid and then throw it all in the trash. And a second test should be obtained over three days with at least 36 hours between tests. So yeah, it takes about median five days for COVID to develop symptoms. 
and yeah if you're negative the first time and negative the second time you probably don't have the virus at least not yet All right, it has now been 15 minutes, and we have our result. The control line is pink and clearly visible. Sample line is invisible, so that is a negative. Hopefully that's accurate, and that means that on this occasion, I do not have COVID-19. Thank you very much for watching.